hello everybody welcome to my round one game versus Truk. Um, I've cunningly saved all of my setups so I have this one um, already sorted so I, the, my opponent won the toss chose to receive I am going to concentrate on this game and try my hardest so I'm about to take out my earphones on the comms I've got Fimey and Calcium thank you so much guys for doing this for me so uh, yep I'm, I'm off uh, take it away lads no worries, eh, Jimmy. And hello, fans of the Blue Bowl 3 World Cup 2024. Okay, guys, ah, yeah. Ready for this? yeah. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. Um, do you know what, um, Fahim, I've The World Cup has really gripped me this year in a way it hasn't beforehand. I've never particularly been that interested in following the World Cup, but this year... It's crazy. I am so into it. And, of course, we got the Don of Blood Bowl himself, Jimmy Fantastic, stepping on the pitch for his first game here. Now, me and Fai Mir, obviously, we're Team Fantastic all the way, but we will be calling this down the middle 100%. Yeah, um, 100%. And, you know, it's the only way we know how. Um, fairness and, you know, solidarity is all bred into Team Fantastic members. Uh, so, let's go. Oh, we see ref. Oh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Look where, oh my God. Oh, nah, that is insane. Ball, ball, ball retriever stunned and look at that kick. Honestly, that is some surgical kicking right there. Yes, he did. Uh, Christopher, but that's a standard. He does that every day. So, uh, Jim's got to withstand the initial onslaught here, the LOS punch bagging. So, if he can do that, then he's going to be in good shape, isn't he? Yes. Fine, this can uh, be really difficult because um, even blood bowlers of limited stature, like myself, um, you know, when you're not playing the game, it's much easier to recognize plays and, you know, uh, technique, you know, strategies that you could use. And obviously we can't call that in real time um, because we don't want to be accused of assisting any parties, uh, let alone Jim. So, you know, I think we're going to have to be calling a lot of these turns sort of post turn, aren't we? Ah, uh, Jimmy, so we know the skin of the player that the white and red bright white okay that which looks cool you know that white uh, reminds me you know when you started painting uh, miniatures and you just did the white uh, printing and say well, that's all right that's all right that will do with enamel, with enamel paint in it yeah half red <laughs> half white thick thick enamel so you lose all the texture on the model yeah we've all been there haven't we i i started that journey with hero quest funnily enough so Anyway, that's a lot of investment from a uh, truck that has to go back for obvious reasons because the elves can be really fast. I think he had to, didn't he? Now we can we can talk about his turn there. I think he had to heavily backtrack there because, yep. um, you know, uh, Jim's elves are probably going to do a thing here. <laughs> seems seems he's going to do a thing. Yes. I've um so so I I got to admit right um I wasn't a fan of Blood Bowl three when it came out I thought it was trash and I honestly thought my Blood Bowl days were over. Um, okay, I just wasn't can't you yeah, remember this, this is the official cast oh. more or less. No, it's not official, is it? Um, <laughs> like like they'd have me on an official cast. <laughs> Behave yourselves. <laughs> should be, should be. Uh, no, I, you know, um, it's fine. Um, I'm happy with my little place in the Blood Bowl community with uh, Jim, and that's it. It's all good. <laughs> oh, bless you, Stoll. Bless you. But the point is, I actually, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a turncoat when it comes to how I feel about this game now. I, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I, I don't love the rule set, um, but I think this is a far more polished product now. So, yeah, go figure. And I'm enjoying playing it, loving it at the moment. So. Anyway, back to the game. So Jim is doing what we, everyone with half a Blood Bowl brain would expect here. He's, he's pushing, 
Uh, kept a sweeper out back, which is probably a really good idea as well, just in case. But yeah, the undead have, have a bit of a conundrum to solve right Big, here. big problem with undead because the mummies are uh, isolated. Ball very far away. This is one of the situations you have to pick up the ball. You are, your hands are sweating. Yeah, because Jim, obviously Jim actually mentioned. Um, sorry, mate. Jimmy actually mentioned what? No, Jim mentioned didn't he? Um, pre-game the uh, pre-game nerves, um, and he said it was they were quite extreme. So, God knows what all these coaches are feeling because let's be fair they're playing for a few quid aren't they and prestige yeah, as well yeah, you know, yeah, um, uh, now, I would like to say, i'd like to say they're all playing for the prestige but let's be fair they're all playing for the cash right <laughs> look look as i say in the past glory doesn't buy kebabs but uh cash yeah. price does <laughs> ain't that the truth um yeah you know I, I i i would imagine we've probably got one or two well-off blood bowlers out there but let's be fair most of us are skin <laughs> yeah because the reason we're playing this is because we're rubbish at Call of Duty. <laughs> so, Faime, um, putting both the mummies together on the LOS is a thing. Um, I, I've always liked to sort of space my mummies apart, to have one essentially teetering on each side um for responsiveness but of course they're movement free so how responsive can they actually be against the dark yeah i know but the thing is uh, because the kickoff was a total disaster but if not you will have a good chance to get the mummies also he was probably trying to get the uh, three guys with the mummies whatever uh, he could yeah. to avoid the one in nines and yeah, now you know he's gonna go here we go here we go a six easiest six of your life And now Gomes, okay, he's going to do the cage there. And this is very, very rough for the undead. In fact, it looks like the elves have more players. You know what? If you don't bash out elves, they're going to ruin your day, aren't they? They're just going to ruin yeah, your day. Yeah, yeah. So Jimmy was um, really lucky with that. Uh, with that kickoff. Yeah. Oh, 100 percent, hundred percent. Pablo, uh, we'll see what Jim does. I guess um, you know um, this will be an indicator of how aggressive Jim wants to play this. Oh, failed the dodge with a zombie. I'm not sure if that play was uh, the play to do, risking a 50% dodge there. I probably would just left the zombie there. Yeah. Because he, maybe, he's maybe not baiting, going to serve the zombie. Them. He's not going to serve the zombie. Still, yeah. it was a dodge with a 2 plus for the uh, elf, so. But. Okay, he's going to blitz probably, yes. No, no, you're, yeah, I, I quite like that. Um, do you know what? You know you're having a bad day when elves start facing you. <laughs> and let's be honest, this is only turn two, but even now, um, Jim is applying some serious pressure here. Yes, this is a really, 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 really hard for the undead. They have a long way to Jimmy's touchdown line, and Jimmy's just already there. Moving the witch there to protect in case of the one in nine. So and Jim is just doing what Jim does here, and he, he's just. Um, playing by numbers, uh, you know, Jim is a, Jim is a top tier player. Um, he knows exactly what to do on the pitch and he's executing it. And obviously, so really, uh, I feel like the pressure is on truck right now. Is it truck? Truk? Truk. Truck. Truk. Truk. 
Sorry, Frank. sorry, we can't tell that. And I know many of the viewers here are on a wondering why there is not, uh, I don't do the, uh, this game is dedicated to the viewers in one country because it's the World Cup. This game is dedicated to our viewers all over the world. 100%. Uh, Ori, how you doing? Dimmy, let's go champ. Dimmy is in the house. Yeah. An absolute bowling legend and a really, really, really top bloke. Got nothing but love for Dimmy. Now, I like the witch would it work leather because if the mummy goes there to base it, she just has a two plus to run away, so it's not a problem at all. You, do, you think, um, do you think Jimmy's put that witch out there to bait the mummy into a blitz? No. Sure, surely Truck has got to blitz his way out of trouble down here. He, he's yeah. in way too much trouble. Down here. Yeah, I mean, Look at it's, this it's, it's insane. World. It's a roach piece. If a... Uh, in case of a blitz by truck there, I would be really surprised. Because yeah, it wouldn't make yeah. any sense. I really like I'm... Jim's shape here. It's um, a really solid shape. He's positioned his players in such a way that even if he does manage to release the ball carrier, it's difficult to escape. Truck's in, truck's, truck's in a bit of a situation here. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I oh my goodness, if, uh, track. Uh, he needs I, to think a lot, but also he needs to consider the fact that the time bank is a limited amount. So I used the term yesterday um, on Jim's uh, World Cup casts, and I can't use it here today um, because I promised to behave myself um, with my uh, more colourful vocabulary. Uh, so I've used I've used the term time bank bandit, a TBB. Um, because a number of coaches yesterday, uh, without too many spoilers, really bit into their time bank big time. And I don't have a lot of time for that, for want of a better phrase. Um, I, I, you know, I, I think the two minutes plus maybe 30 seconds of the time bank is more than enough for a turn. But, you know, this is World Cup. This is pressure. So... Maybe I'd be different if I was ever good enough to make the World Cup, which I probably am not. Well, you actually need to do like uh, Jimmy and organize your own competition and get your own ticket. Sorry, I mean, <laughs> yeah. uh, being a, an icon of the game, you know, with a respectful <laughs> Blood Bowl Super League with a long standing uh, level of competition there and win. Yeah. Yeah, and I also need to play Blood Bowl as well, which I am actually doing at the moment. I'm really enjoying it. So, um, yeah, this this is this is. The oh, oh, oh! It's a double one. Oh, that oh is disaster god. for Pro. Oh my I think, god! I think we can safely say that he has just stepped on a double one landmine there. Jim can't quite believe his luck here. Now he's just got to convert this bad dice into something. Well, I think there is a chance that the uh, Jimmy tries to pick up the ball this time. Who knows? Oh, you know, anything yeah. could happen. But I think that's part of the Jimmy's <laughs> plan. Did I say 100%? I meant 50%. Obviously, it's a 50-50 of whatever Jim will do at any given time. Yes, especially 50. Is he, he does it or he doesn't. Yeah. Armor break. Very nice. Nice, not, Yeah, nice little armor break. It's always nice to see. Lodge ghoul runners um, seem pretty strong in this format, to be fair. Um, oh. It's interesting that the um, the frenzies decided before the ball scatter. Yeah, true. You'd have thought the ball scatter would have um, oh been decided God. first. Oh, oh my God. The witch pick us the ball. Oh. But Stop that's it, a very Jim. dangerous square. There's a very dangerous square. <laughs> Fail it. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Just when we thought it was looking all rosy for Jim, 
Nuffle says, yeah. hang on a minute, hold my pint. <laughs> and yes, he's marking oh, that a, line of that Sulaf move. That line of Sulaf move before. Let's let's be honest right now, um, Fahmi, truck is still in a world of trouble. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. This, is a, this is an majority. Yeah, I mean, the majority of his team goals, is in the wrong part he, of town. His goals in a very complicated uh, place. It's time for for him. Yeah. There is not even the the, the 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 semblance of a cage. Really bad. That's how uh, kickoff uh, events can actually destroy yeah. one uh, drive. And uh, now, yeah, Jimmy again pointing us to the line and that other line. Yes, yeah, Jimmy, yes. We show that there were pieces that you didn't move before doing that blitz. The Boomer saying this is uh, akin to Benny Hill Blood Bowl. I wish I was not old enough to remember Benny Hill, but I actually do remember Benny Hill. He's oh, he was 80s. huge in Spain. He was huge in Spain to the point that he was at some point having his own program in the Spanish telly or uh, appear regularly wow, in the Spanish telly. Wow, was he? Holy cow. A, well, obviously, the, British household name, but I didn't realise that he was massive in Europe as well. Holy cow. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the music and it. <laughs> when he was patting the ball guy, the wee ball guy. That's amazing. <laughs> I, yeah, I think he actually ended in the program of that's is which which wait 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 he grabs the ball now where, where are you taking go? that ball what son there are very complicated here very difficult so you can actually understand truck biting into his time bank here um, you know, he's had a couple of really tough turns to navigate and some really bad dice that put him on the back foot as well. Um, balance has been restored because Jim had equally good stroke, bad dice. I, do you know what? I think on balance, neither of them can really complain that much. Wait, what? With the dice. I think Trug has much worse dice. I mean, are you looking at the pitch right now? Yeah, no, sorry. I, 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 I rescind that last statement. You're absolutely right. It wasn't right. only the kid. It was also there. the official ref standing the ball carrier. <laughs> that's yeah, how yeah, this yeah, started. That's true. Yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> what am I talking about? Do you know what? I just realised I was talking absolute nonsense there. All right. And I take it all entirely back. Um, but this, this doesn't feel safe. It's not a potato. No, it's, not, it's not safe at all. And he relies, he relies in a lot of... Uh, Rolls that he needs to do. Luckily for him, he got them. Now having two guards at each side make things safer. But that ghoul is uh, doesn't have any skills. Only has dodge. Oh, I gotta be honest, Fame. I think that's uh, it's not a full recovery, but I think that's probably decent given what truck has been given up against. the circumstances is probably one of the better shots you could expect yeah now what does jim do here of course he could do anything right now okay um you know um and we'll obviously deal with the consequences of jim's yes, said action yes, and, and let's let's use this time to you know keep me talking about benny hill in spain there was the Atletico Madrid uh, president, Jesus Gil Gil, the super fat guy in the 90s that was very controversial. Very controversial. That, to the point that going to jail a few times and still being the president of Madrid and uh, Council of Marbella. So, yeah. And he ended the uh, when he ended in his program, which I think is night, top 90s Spanish corruption television. Because I also have to say that Benny Hill hasn't aged very well, his humor. Hasn't aged very well at all. No, ironically, I'm, I'm, I can't believe, first of all, we're still talking about Benny Hill. But um, ironically, I think he was a really nice bloke as well. And he died um, pretty alone. Um, you know, but yeah, the 80s was certainly British comedy. It's uh, none of it's aged well, particularly. <laughs> OK, here comes the blitz. We can all... 
Uh, no, not the blitz. He was trying to do with the jump up and fails. Uh, okay, that's really unlucky. Yeah, it was a two plus. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it was unlucky. Um, but, but, we're still, we're still uh, here. We're still here. That was, that was just a regular uh, block then. So, nothing of value, nothing of great value lost. Because the no. witch can still jump up next time. Here comes the blitz. Oh, gets a full pow. Yeah, lovely. Armor break. Oh, armor break. Yeah. It's a cheeky little stun, Fame. Cheeky little stun. And it's also taken one of uh, Truck's key players off the board for a turn. Um, So, his turn's nearly over, and we can analyze it very quickly. So, Fame, um, he hasn't based up. He hasn't based up the white. He hasn't based up the mummy. Um, you know, um, he's only he's only based up key movement players, really, other than the white. Um, I, yes, I guess Jim's gambling because, on the fact that uh, he can't now, really go anywhere. If he goes anywhere, yes. he's going to go by himself, isn't he? Is, uh, Jimmy will have a lot of players to react. You see at the line in front of uh, the ball, all of them are uh, all of them have a blotch, except the witch at the yeah. side that has roach. So any blitz that is uh, done to advance, if he goes, you know, straight forward for it, it's gonna be difficult. He's gonna need a pow. Yeah, yeah. This is um. A classic case of I know that Truck right now will be thinking, "Holy cow, it's turn five. I yes. got you know the time." And the probably Jimmy ticking. thought, Jimmy thought that he was basing, he was just offering the free blocks, just fishing for pause. Yeah. So that's a nice screen. Here comes the blitz. Two dice. Gets the power obviously with a the blockless, uh, blockless piece. That's that's probably a dead piece. So that's um, Truck's first armor break of the game? Yeah. Well, I wasn't that far away. Only, uh, only a stun, but... Holy cow. Turn five and it's your first armor break when you're packing Mighty Blow. That's that's pretty tragic. <laughs> and he's going to keep uh, trying to keep that shape. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if Truck had any other option but to go for... Oh, hello. Here's another armor break. I don't know if Truck had any option but to go for that big pal there. Well, a uh, dodge fail dodge with the dodge skill. One in nine. What a slow walk for Truck. Next time it's going to be turn six. And I guess yeah. Jimmy has gonna be able to, you know, design a play here that probably involves hitting that uh, <laughs> that white uh, guard. Massive oh. piece. Oh, doesn't get it. It's all right. It's all right. So obviously we're we're probably um, quiet during Jim's turn for obvious reasons. Um, I guess we're slightly less quiet during Truck's turn turns, but Truck is on the back foot, so commentating on his turns is a little bit easier right now. Um, uh, really, I already well, I just lost the memory of Spain in the nineties. <laughs> and here we go now. The the, the base in oh uh, another oh. dub one. You know, okay, you know, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to say, it. I'm gonna have to say, it. this is the World Cup. You know, this is the World Cup. The way these guys are rolling is absolutely amateur. These dice yeah. rolls are a, a beginner's league in the, your local shop. For God's sake, guys, <laughs> get your hold together, roll the dice properly. You know, because people are watching this, and this is very funny. This is very, very heal, but, but come on. 
That's a lot of money. Nines uh, and uh, one I'm of the I'm going to take taken it. If I if I was playing in the tabletop league down in my down in my town, right, I'd have taken a step outside the local shop to Weymouth Harbour and thrown the dice in the harbour right now. Okay, so that so I was about to say, Fymir, um, at the start of Truck's turn, Jim was Jim dodging there to base that mummy to to stop that mummy blitzing, because I I felt like that may may have been a bit of a mistake last turn. Jim allowed that mummy to make the 2d blitz and get that power and push up the pitch i you know don't don't worry about the mummy at the back now because let's be fair he's you know he can reposition to an extent now but he's movement free but that mummy further up the pitch i would have probably tagged with a blodge piece um just to stop truck doing what he did last turn don't get me wrong truck's still in big trouble here yeah he was tagging the mummy because now he can uh, yeah, completely he would, yeah he could completely envelop the the players there. See, the goal now has to go yeah. back. Yeah, this is this is still really bad for Truck because now Truck's essentially got two turns to make. You know, in fact, this um, goal. So, what's it for? Yeah, he's out yes. of range, isn't he? So he's going to have to GFI to score. This is a, also a, there is guard in only one side of the cage. Oh, here comes the boot. Oh, that's a... Ri oh, I'm sorry, do you know what? I thought that was a white then. It's a skeleton. It's a very good-looking uh, skeleton, to be fair. But, um, yeah, I, I don't hate that foul at all. Of course, why would I hate a foul? <laughs> he has more than enough players, and he needs something to yeah, happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, again, that... Yeah, had to eat that. that we block, need you two rebounds for the last two turns. No, no, it was it was a bit of an unnecessary. It was a high risk block, unnecessary, um, and all that's done now is taken that player out of the equation. Uh, not that the player was in the equation okay. anyway. But... Let me let me explain with, with uh, some numbers. Obviously, the, there was uh, four results in the dice that were uh, two results in the dice that were good. That was uh, taking down the lino. Two that were pushing him yeah. and will push him next to the closer to the ball. Two yeah. that will end like this. Well, there was also okay. the bot down, the will thing like that. But if he gets the power, you know, the player will be one square to the left, whatever side of the left. And then he still could have, if you follow, get up, dodge with a two plus, and still base the cage. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I didn't like, I didn't like that block at all. Um, uh, Steve Motti, cage dive. I guess we'll find out in a minute, mate. We'll see, we'll see, but yeah, that, uh, that thing is exactly the reason why the jump up failure block is bad, but not as bad because the witch still has jump up. Yeah. So see, we have the full dive. movement. He may decide to cage dive. He may decide to do something else. I would say it's about 50-50 right now. Who knows? It's impossible to know, but he got a pow. He yeah. could be looking for a change. As uh, Andy says, look your squares and your T's. KO. Oh, that's a big KO. That is a huge KO. I'm trying to be excited about removals because we, you know, as far as I'm concerned, we haven't had enough Funny yet. enough, huge funny enough that, KO. That, that KO makes any chance of a... Of a, of a chain very difficult in that part of the pitch because there are, there are yeah. an empty square. Yeah. But Jimmy seems fine with that. That's, 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 that's the whole uh, and the team envelope surrounded by pieces with a lot of uh, skills there, with a lot of blood. It's a nightmare. It's, it, this has been a, a nightmare uh, drive. What, what, what a beginning. And there you go. One, two, three. There goes the line. No? So the chance, the better result that he could have aimed with that block was uh, getting a pow and then an armor break. Which is low chances. So, and next time that zombie is going to be oh, just there. Yeah. Fime, put the oven on at 220 degrees Celsius, mate. I think we may be cooking a potato. 
Turn 7. Turn 7. Now the questioning truck mind. Do I risk everything going for the score or do I play conservatively and try to, you know, keep it nil nil and accept my fate and hope the second drive is uh, better for me? Very difficult thing to say. I'm not saying he'll do one or the other. No, no. This is... No. It, um, do you know what? But the As a better man, Fame, I'll tell you. Yeah, on that, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy right signed, it, signed it to <laughs> us that he has. He has pieces in a scoring range. In fact, he has pieces to reach. Whatever he wants. And the only thing, the yeah, only he's... thing is, uh, is that the, the chances of a pass are minimal because with the change of the rules, passing now is uh, much more complicated. But uh, still, you know, you know... Uh, can pick up the ball. Uh, Jimmy will have two turns. So Truk has to think about that. He only has one turn after this one, but Jimmy will have two. Hey, yeah. you know. Uh... I tell you what, right? I bet if you meet Jimmy in real life, when he talks to you, he talks with his hands because he's a little bit cursor happy there, isn't he? Um, I have met, you know, he I have met Jimmy in real curse, life. But... I have met him. I was with him in a UKTC. But, uh, yeah. I can't, I can't believe I haven't. In fact, do you know what? Next year, right? I am. I, I, I'm not interested in playing Blood Bowl at uh, Blood Bowl events, right? Blood Bowl bores me, but I'm very interested in catching up with all my Blood Bowl brothers and a couple of sisters that we have now, very famously. Um, but yeah, I'm. Do you know what? Catching up with Dimmy again would be that's that's, you know, that's a real highlight for me. Um, so we'll we'll make sure we get something sorted for that. But anyway, back to this turn. So. This is just so desperate, isn't it? It's just so desperate. Who's gonna do the blitz? Okay. Okay, so moving there, looks... moving there. Uh, yeah. Just says yeah. that that goal, that goal specifically, that goal carrying the ball is not going to be the one that scores. You know what? I think in high, you know, that goes against my sense of death or glory. Um, but that's probably the right thing to do here, isn't it? Yeah, also Jimmy is infamous for having horrible luck also in his drive, so, you know, we can't be counting with that. Yeah, I... Exactly, yeah, no I saw can... Steve Motti there, and there was a good crowd, and Skuro came. Maya was there. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a bunch of people that I've met already. Um, and there's also a bunch of people that I want to meet as well. So maybe next year, um, especially if my passion in Blood Bowl um, is reignited, and which it seems to be, then oh. we'll make that happen. I didn't play Blood Bowl when I went. I just went to meet the people. Yeah. Yeah. I might just take goblins or something just for the... Or don't uh, play. For the, the fun of it. Yeah, or don't play. Yeah. That's the only way to truly win at Blood Bowl. But then, look at these guys. These guys are winners at Blood Bowl right oh. now. There's a, oh. oh, beautiful foul. Beautiful foul by the skeleton there. Doesn't get caught. Fantastic foul. Tony plays poorly once again. For God's sake, Tony. Stop being barnacle. Hey, Carlson, you are also in the team. Oh, I'm going to have... Jimmy, you too. I'm going to have to have a look if I'm there. Oh, my Lord. I tell you what. So, I just... I just noticed Jim. Jim's not rocking an apo. Um, I guess the team build is such that you know having an apo means that you have to sacrifice something. But I don't know. Not having an apo, apo for a badly hurt. Gorilla Mezzo, Noalius, Pepper Biscuit. Wait a second. Train. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. I'm not in the team. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? No, no, I must be. I must be. I believe I trust in Jimmy Fantastic. Anyway, to be fair to Jim, anyway, um, I'm, I'm I think happy we can not say now we can say now that Truk is not going to score this uh, drive. He had and I can blame him for not uh, going for it because going for it. 
would have been with many chances a touchdown for Jimmy nearly soon because it was too risky. It was a, and, I don't know, what you do, a, a, a potato and a prayer? It's, it's mental. No, yeah, no, 100%. And this is why Truck's in the World Cup and I'm not because I'd 100% gone for that and then Jim would have recovered the ball and scored on my backside. So, you know... Um, there is always another drive. There is always another drive. And if a neither scores, there is a... Jim's really had enough of that dirty player skeleton. <laughs> that's a, that's a um, good piece to hit also because it doesn't have block or anything. I don't understand why there isn't more dirty players on bash teams in the World Cup. There seems to be a serious lack of them. Um, oh, the, Mike, traditions, the traditions have been lost. Uh, calcium, the traditions. Uh, uh, oh, I am a lino. Doing a blitz. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're a lino. Um, I, I can forgive Jim not putting me on the team because I've only very recently you're in the um, team. Sort of, uh, come back to the Blood Bowl universe. But, you know, me and Jim would be having a conversation about that at some point. You are in the team. <laughs> Calcium, you are in the team. I saw Where? you earlier. Where? Am I? Oh, well, I take yes. it all back. Jim's always... <laughs> Great friend. <laughs> Never in doubt. No, I... no, I'm not. Am I? Anyway, it doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't matter. Oh, I am. Oh, yeah, I would expect no less being a 91-month Tier 2 subscriber. So I'd expect no less. But tier 2? <laughs> yeah, Tier 2. Right, so I actually joked with Jim earlier saying I just keep forgetting to cancel it. And there's a lot of truth to that. Um, but also, um, you know, when you, you know, you have to earn that 100 month trophy. So I might reevaluate my life choices at 100 months, but I'm going to go to 100 months. Um, Jim owes go. me a number of pints when we catch up. There you go, get yeah, the I'd... powder. Yeah. Yeah, to be more, I spend too much time talking about whether I'm on the team or not. <laughs> well, that's, that's the important thing. I mean, if Jimmy wins the cup and you're in yeah. the team, you are. Uh, you have won the cup too. I'm um, I'm jotting down a couple of uh, questions I want to ask you, Fime. Um, I've got a notepad in front of me and everything um, for the for the for the very quick halftime um, analysis. Uh, so, and uh, the, the most important so professional, question got, So professional, which, this is the level of the World Cup uh, cast you can expect this channel. We have questions for the uh, half You know time. what? I, I, yeah, I want to take this. I, I'm loving this World Cup. I, I don't know why. It's really gripped me. I think it's properly exciting. And do you know what? I'm, if I can do my little bit for the Blood Bowl community and not upset too many people as well on, in the process, then great. Oh, that's a big... <laughs> Single dice power. What was that? Well, now it was, that. was always something really good to happen to him. Oh my lord! Just roll all the dice. I okay. I hate. I absolutely hate that one D. That would have opened up a corner there. He, he still had the reroll, so probably he would have rerolled it hundred percent. What blockless block one day? Okay, no, this I, I'm foul. sorry. I hate it. The, that foul, oof. yeah, that blockless boy looking for a pow. Yeah, I, I hate, I hated that foul way less than I hated that one D block. Um, I think that's probably the biggest mistake trucks made this game. I would have just made the other guy. I, 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 I understand the value of pushing him off. Um, I also understand the value of him failing. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, I, Jimmy, fact, Jimmy's doing math in his mind. You can see he's doing shapes in the pitch. He's doing the shapes. He's doing the calculations. Yeah. The yeah, Blue Bull supercomputer um, is working in the background. I'm actually a really good commentator for when it comes to these high skill plays, you know, these multi-chain one-turn touchdown plays, because I ain't got a Scooby-Doo out of doing. 
I'll be honest, right? Um, it's it's not in my blood bowl uh, playbook at all. Um, I sort of know how to defend against them to an extent, but I'm, you know. There you go. Yeah, there um, you go. He got it. He got it. He got the chain. I didn't want to say anything, but obviously it was that shape, that cage was the opening for uh, getting this. He gets the first push, which moves the ball. This is red dice. He has to reroll it. He needs a push. Yes, he gets it. Oh. Uh... And that's the ball carrier next to the block piece. Wow. And here it comes. Oh. Oh, hey, both gets down. It. Gets it. Where goes the ball? Oof. Oh, it could be, I've it seen could be better, better places for the ball. He's got a chance. Yeah, why did he why did he take the dodge there, Jay Leaf? How you doing by the way? Surely you'd be putting dodge on manual um for these games. Yep. If he hadn't used the uh... Dodge in the in the first block was the problem. The second one was doom because he was going to the uh, whatever he was he was going to move. But in the first one he will have stopped the second uh, block from happening. Normally, when you roll a five and a six on a two D uphill, you're pretty happy. Yeah. Aren't you? <laughs> Normally. <laughs> no, it was the first block. The first block was uh, the one with. It his... was a five six as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Uh, Fluffy Burrito, we could be seeing a leap. Um, we could be seeing a jump over, being... jump over. Leap is a skill. Oh, there you go. Declares the pass. This is one of the players with a touchdown or one of the Jimmy's players dead. Jim's really eating into his time bank here. Um, goes, again. For the, goes for the pickup. Oh, there we go. Fails. A big fat one for the pickup. So unlucky. Um, beautifully manufactured attempt, though. Absolutely beautiful manufacturing. Wait, didn't Jimmy still have rerolls? No, no, he burned all his rerolls on the uh, uh, push. On the oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. My question, Simon, my question. Is Jimmy happy right now, having stopped the drive? Or is he well, unhappy? Jimmy is usually score? not happy by default, but he's yeah. less miserable than, than usual. Let's call it uh, that. And I think he could be satisfied with the result he has stopped the score now all the the ball is his uh, in his uh, pitch so he has yes. all the choices here so will have been better to score yes of course it would have been better to score and he yeah. had chances there but they also track was really really unlucky so i think i'll be he will be okay with this He's, he's going to happy, complain. Yeah. He's going to complain about oh, not scoring or something like that. But I think, given the circumstances, it was a very okay uh, result. Yeah, truck. Um, you know, unfortunately, trucks white stayed out, um, which is a bit of a nightmare for him because um, one white down on an undead team is significant. And uh, the, but... the white, one of the guys with guard, the one that he can use. To then uh, go yeah, with the wrestle yeah. uh, piece. Yeah, no, it, that's significant. Um, I think, I think, yeah, Jim, Jim should be happy. You know, um, yeah, I feel slightly aggrieved that he didn't convert that into a score. But um, you know, he he basically had truck on the back foot from turn one, 
And oh, okay. yes. yeah, it was it was a beautiful display of pressure blood bowl, wasn't it? It was a beautiful display. And yes, and he had in, the, the advantage know, of uh, making it easier for him thanks to the to the yeah. kickoff result. And anyway, uh, any other question, uh, Calcium? No, that was my main question, really. Oh, you know, right, so right. Um, just trying to get inside the mind of the greatest blood bowler to have ever lived on this planet. I'm not suggesting oh, he's the greatest blood thanks, bowler. Thanks for asking. Still wise. <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks. And, I am and, humble. And, yeah. I'll take that compliment yeah. humbly uh, uh, yeah, with all yeah. <laughs> No worries. No worries. Like yeah. You are welcome. You are welcome. Yeah. Yeah, and Jim. <laughs> ah, yeah, Jim, yeah, yeah. Blitz, oh my god! Blitz, whoa. Okay, no one, no one can feel bad for Jim right now after what happened in the first half of that kick and the result, so... Revenge, but, the uh, revenge of track in the kick yeah, of the yeah. event. My god. <clears throat> now, having that uh, white with a guard would have been so useful, eh? Yeah. <clears throat> Luckily, um, Jim is a consummate Blood Bowl top tier professional, and his setup is such that it's going to be almost impossible for Truck to actually break through here. Um, you know, he's to really break through, you're looking at a sideline breakthrough. I, I don't think that is I really mean, that feasible Luke at this point. Trug should be thinking right now, okay, uh, Jimmy was planning to do a... Adaka. Oh, wait, there was, there was something going on. Win channel points. Someone uh, made a prediction, guys. Use your points, which are absolutely worthless 90% of the time. Yeah, I'm going to you can be, gamble, Don't gamble them. You can change the amount, guys. And now, uh, I think he realized that he, he truly realizes he was trying to go, you know, really deep, uh, doing the stuff like, you know, trying to bleach one of the witches that I open him, maybe the sides, he wouldn't be able to put anything, anyone, any piece in a particularly relevant place anyway, and could have been a massive amount of surfing there. Now, oh, Jimmy, no, I think, that, uh, uh, safe moves first. Yeah, you don't have to be a brain... You don't have to be a brain surgeon to know that Jimmy is all about the DACA here. Um, obviously, we didn't say anything, you know, for fear of being accused of influencing Jim to do a DACA, like he needs influence to do a DACA. Uh, that's, that's, probably, that's probably the safest thing to say, that uh, Jimmy is going to do a DACA. God, I hate the DACA. I hate it so much. Honestly, every time someone DACAs, Nuffle kills a kitten, all right? Oh, oh my god! Eh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I, I, the reason, one of the reasons why I hate the DACA is because I've never really defended well against the DACA. You know, yeah, you're, you're sort of compelled to push up the pitch and you leave the slightest gap and someone like Jim will be like, oh, thank you for the gap, see you later. And it drives me nuts. Oh, yeah, he's got to eat that. Okay, he Stone have, stays on the pit. He's pointing the, the other line. The other liner is the one yeah. that should have tried the roll because that line can be served now. I mean, I, I, I'm, I guess, I'm assuming, you know, this is not the top player of the century, but if uh, Truk wants, he can uh, serve that piece, which seems to be the case because he didn't choose the power. But now so he has two powers. Oh, yeah, he's so, got it. So no, now we'll say no, no. no. Re -roll? Why, are you, why are you re rolling that? Wow, oh, that was. Um, wow, that was ridiculous. Okay, yeah, greed. Baron Bucky, you're absolutely right. I'm sorry, Truck. Um, I think you've played a really solid game here, but that was a huge mistake. Also, I want to point out 
Jim made a mistake in not dodging the furthest side character first. He should have. Yeah, that, that, that was exactly what we were uh, talking about, Calcio, for God's sake. Uh, were we? Oh, I must have missed that. So. That that's so greedy. That's so greedy. It's... I'm a big sad. We, we all have a bit of greed. Greed is good. <laughs> In a blood bowl context, of course. Be nice. He must be feeling it right now. He must be feeling it right now that that was a mistake. That reroll. You only have three rerolls. This is overtime format. Overtime is. Probably the best scenario you are aiming for in this drive, so you should have kept, especially with a double bow. Oh, okay. By the way, it was also a bad play to do that early in the turn, because there were all the safe moves that he could have done before that, like that bridge with block, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Uh, no, you know, no moving the ghouls, moving the mummies. Yeah. Will he try to foul the piece on the round? No. no. I don't know. I'd have probably fouled him. <laughs> I'd, I, I'd foul anything if I was in range, honestly. <laughs> but then that's that's again another reason. Oh why no! No over time. No over time. It's not over time. Oh, this is a group stage. Sorry, 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 sir. Oh yeah, yeah. No over time. Yeah. So. I, I, yeah, it still doesn't make that re-roll any better as far yes, as I can see. I, I regret every single word I said about the overtime, but the general uh, feeling is exactly the same. I don't think that was a good re-roll, but I think it was, no, it was a just bad, wasn't it? bad decision. Yeah. No reflection on his overall coaching ability or anything, but if we can't call a bad choice a bad choice, then why are we even commentating? You know, yeah. um, and that, that was the other a mistake? bad choice. The other mistake was the H save uh, cage in the first half that allowed Jimmy to concoct a, yeah. a chain to hit the ball. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Now Jimmy has a few players down in the ground, but he's perfectly fine because he true left them behind. Jimmy just can run away with them, so it's always good to have players on the pitch. And now he has to leave. For those, about, be... for those about to die, we salute you. <laughs> Foul incoming. My God, I wasn't expecting to be that quick. Time to argue the call. Failure comes oh, thrown out. Yeah. In the good old days, yeah. in the good old days, that okay. would mean that the undead loses regen. Because that was how it worked in a second edition or third edition. From third edition, I can't remember. The oh, ninety, I, I, the ninety-six, yeah. the ninety-six one, the ninety-four, ninety-six one. If the undead lost the coach, all the pieces lost regen unless they had regen by themselves, like the vampire uh, stars. Bloody hell! I must admit, my my uh, remembering the second edition rules is sketchy, but I know, it's um, third, I third, third, third edition. edition. Third edition. Uh, oh, I do know third edition that you could have four mummies, which was insane. Yeah. <laughs> you, no, you could have four, four stars for the same stars. There were uh, undead teams with four vampires. Okay, so I like this from Truck, keeping shape in the middle of the pitch, not, not committing. Um, when does Jim start pushing? Um, you, uh, at the end of this turn, you can tell me when Jim starts pushing. Mm. Okay. Uh, looks well, like Jim may be starting to push now. He's uh, moving the ball up the pitch, so I will say that the... Yes, Regen was 2+. Plus. And Fouls yeah, gave was SPP. Plus. Yeah. Fouls gave SPP. Oh, those were the days. Third edition I loved. Fourth edition was my favourite ever edition. It was just insane, and I loved it. Um, oh, I think it was for this in the 1996. The one in the big uh, blue box with the orcs and humans, and the, then they released the death zone with the cards. Yeah, that was third edition. That was third? All right. Yeah, yeah, that was third. Yeah. LRB4 was just immense. I loved it. Um, but, you know, 
hey, we are where we are. And, you know, um, it's fine to like or dislike current rule sets. Um, what you've got to do is you've got to understand that it's still this game that we all love. So it will change again. All of with the blogger. Okay. So, Jim, I he could have probably waited another turn before pushing, couldn't he, Fime? Maybe, maybe yes. I think he got at least uh, had a turn, but I think he saw the space, seeing, seeing that the uh, and yeah. the, that uh, slow business does. Don't get me wrong. I don't. I don't hate it. I don't hate the fact that he's pushed at all. Um, Gets the man in the middle of the more. of the inch, uh, band, elf bunch. Yeah, you want to give yourself more I'm time. I'm not sure about that uh, blitz, but yeah, blitzing with non-block players uh, when you've got ghouls and whites that can do the same thing seems a little bit risky to me because uh, one in nines are a thing but yes and then uh, know, one in 89 and, and he only has two rolls left and then Beck says that yeah. he likes the, the passing uh, start I don't like it yeah over that that now that mummy block there was um, largely unnecessary I you know it's it's an end of a turn block isn't it it's not a beginning of the turn block. No, no, that, that, <laughs> that block there is not the end of the turn block. He, he needs to move his pieces on the left side. Yeah. Now we got to put to in the get that... into the into the mix. Yeah, yeah. This is um, a high pressure situation, so you can forgive coaches for making mistakes. Can't really forgive coaches for rolling nothing but pushes. Um, that's you know. Unforgivable. <laughs> Bit of a chess match going on here, Fime. They it's really weird, isn't it? It's almost um they both appear to have a pretty good shape. <laughs> um do you know one of the things I love about Blood Bowl 3? right now and I've, I've loved this from day one and I think it's a wonderful feature is using the Q and E buttons I can switch the camera view 180 degrees and get perspective from each coach and I can also switch it to almost the traditional side on sort of fumble format as well I love that I think it's brilliant absolutely oh, there you brilliant That's the square, that's the square that from there. Does he keep the, he has to keep moving or not? Is a, there is the wrestle piece there. Oh, this is, this is tough, isn't it? Um, if nothing changes much, this, the undead are going to be able to catch up with the yeah. elves and that's gonna be a could be a very complicated situation yeah yeah um just as a um an fyi uh trucks time bank is not looking too healthy no no one minute uh, 50 seconds He's going to do it. He's, he's got to 1D himself out of trouble here, isn't he? Oh, no, or not. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I would have quite liked the 1D there with block against non-block. Now that is some elf BS right there. Um, and that is giving and now, Truck a bit the, of a problem. And now comes the second one, which is the, the wizard. So I want to try to pass uh, through. Actually, I've changed my mind. I really like 
a lone lino locking down that nearest mummy right now. And oh, the, the elf. Oh, look. Jim makes a dodge. What's that about? Things you have never seen before. It's the first time in my life I've seen me making a dodge. I tell you what, if you're going to make dodge, make dodges, make them at a pivotal part of the game like there. That is... Yeah, do you know what? I was wrong about 1D and the mummy, I think. Um, Jim, with the application of some uh, uh, well-known... If uh, Jimmy will have, fail, will have failed any of the dodges, like having to use the dodge skill, he will have a stop. You know, the first roll failed, yeah. second one gets it, he that will be, okay, I'm not... Unless he was a two plus, maybe with a two plus he would have done it, but not one of the three pluses, probably. Yeah. Yeah, um, Gepetto, I think you're right. Um, but yeah, do you know what? It, it was risky, but the payoff is huge because now, once again... Um, well, risky the in, the, in the way undead. of elves, you know, a bunch of uh, a few three pluses we, we rolled, we dodged. Yeah. Yeah, but Jim's dice rolls so far this game have been absolute trash, haven't they? So, you know, when it comes to dodging, how many... Uh, I think he's on three snakes for dodging. Something like that, yeah. Oh, having to rush with the mummy, trying to cover up uh, some spaces. Yeah. Jimmy already lost two players, but the Undead also lost uh, two players, so <laughs> happy days. Uh, is Jim down to 10 right now? Yeah, down to 10. Because uh, he started this drive with 11, which is, again, if you haven't banged out elves, they're going to ruin your day. <clears throat> Truck once again finding the hard pal on a blodger. Um, he's done that quite well this game. He knows when to roll pals, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. It was coming. It was coming, wasn't it, Fime? It was coming. Yeah, it was bound to happen. One in nine happened. But yeah, they rerolled to the rescue and they left him with one reroll. Okay, against Akeo. With a very good result. Yeah. And that freeze <laughs> that the. Uh, Ghoul and the other one now they can move freely. That's the rob. I, but, but I think he needed to do that. Oh my lord, <laughs> he has to re roll that. No, that, that, the, that rust. I don't think that he needed to do that rust. I mean, I don't think there's a massive. Uh, Difference between uh, being that, uh, in that square or the other. Now, Jimmy, because that piece is on the ground, Jimmy can go to the left. Yeah, that's As why he's, I pointing, he uh, he's that. pointing that he's pondering the idea of going through the left. Oh, this is uh, biggest turn of the game so far, and we've had some big turns in this game. This game has been a really tight affair. Excellent pressure applied by both coaches. Both coaches showing why they belong in the World Cup. Give me one minute left. Oh, 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 oh. oh, where, where, where can that piece go? Will be that one doing the blitz? If it's the blitz to whom? Yeah. It's not, he's going with the witch. Two dice on the mummy. Get the mummy. Yeah. <clears throat>
Counting the squares to make the screen. See, if that uh, piece on the ground for Thruk would have been up, but one square to the left, he wouldn't have the assist with the Wrestle. Uh, yeah. yeah. With the Wrestle uh, Witch. <laughs> yeah. Um, that was. I, I sort of understood why Truck did it. I heard you take a gasp when Truck put his ghoul all the way over to the right hand side as we're looking at it. Um, and. Oh, no! <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Okay, okay, game oh on. We have God. a game on Blue Ball here. Oh, baby. Wow. <laughs> oh, baby. Drama at the maximum level. Oh, that is awful. Yeah. Another one in 36. And the ball bounced. You know, if he advances one square down, at least he has, you know, a lot of helps there around. Good he God. has, um, he I've... has, Luke has right now a very easy way of uh, clearing the ball and picking it up. Yeah, that that is brutal. Um, Chi Chi, yeah. Um, the safe route, did that involve GFIs? Because ironically, he would have failed a GFI there. Sorry, a rush. Why just call it GFI? But anyway, um, no, I think that was probably the optimal route to take, Motty. Um, but yeah, it, hey, it was just. Oh my god! Life. Oh my god! Yes, the time bank. He has one minute left in the time bank. Thirty seconds. He needs to be yeah, super I, quick. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, we're not going to comment on someone's time bank and potentially give them a tip off uh, of the amount of time they have left because that would be deemed as some form of collusion. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> don't oh. be, don't be. That's, that's a... Uh, he oh, he gets, up with he the gets on That's it. him out of rerolls. But he has the ball now, which makes the nil-nil very real. Uh, so you are allowed to say GFI. It's just a rush now. It's, it yeah, it's a rush. The it's rule rush. says it's a rush. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know why they renamed the rush, and it's fine. It's, it is what it is, isn't it? Maybe they are fans of the Canadian uh, band. Maybe. Big, Good band. big powder. Oh my God! The huge power. Armor break. Oof. Blimey. Now. Blimey. And uh, here we go. Jimmy's you know I'm trying to be stand. when I'm using words like blimey. <laughs> Peter Six. Flip me, guys. 15 seconds left in the back for Truco. Two turns. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Seeing Jim down on two minutes is crazy as well. Jim okay, never. Jim is making shapes. Bank. He's again thinking how his uh, pieces with frenzy doing a chain. To Max, yeah. Because now the ball is in the hands of a bludger. That's. That's hard. If Jimmy tries to achieve anything, he's going to need a full power. Yes. Unless he uses the um, Wrestle Witch, but the Wrestle Witch is in yes. now in a yeah. complicated course, position. Jim, yeah, of course, Jim has a range of options open to him right now, Fame, of which we will possibly not comment on until such time as he or decides. Not uh, even know. Or not even know. Or not even know. I mean, the chain option is always there when there is at least uh, four players together. <laughs> <laughs> this is really difficult, isn't it? You want to call, you want to call the plays in real time. I know it's what really he's difficult. thinking. I know what he's thinking.
I'd like to say I know what he's thinking, but I really don't. Okay. That was another option. What he was thinking, not that he was going to do, he was considering there is a way where I can do a change so big that the ball ends next to the which we wrestle. He was thinking okay. about that. I can guarantee you that he was thinking about that. But then maybe the time uh, ran out or could, couldn't be done, couldn't be done. You know, maybe it couldn't be done. But uh, that was it. Now, true with, the ball, I'm... True, true with the ball here. If he wants to potato, he has a side of the pitch with less elf players than the other. I, I don't think we're going to see Again, him going to the left. Yeah. He's got the same decision, isn't he, that he had in the first half. Does he potato or does he protect being scored on? It's exactly the same position as he was. Yes. Um, the, yeah, question, the, 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 the thing is, uh, that, uh, a piece of advice that uh, Crucifer used to say, one of the things, Crucifer, probably one of the best uh, blue ball uh, coaches that have been in uh, years and years, is that one of the first things he that, uh, he usually do when he starts the turn, uh, you know, I that is like, is my opponent in the scoring range? Yes, no. And depending on that, that's the first uh, thing uh, he used to do. Like, look yeah. up, okay, no. Right now, is Jim, Jim next turn is turn 16. Is he in a scoring range? Only if that I witch... Don't... Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only if that witch gets chained up at least one square. That's the only so I under... one that he has. I understand why Jim, I understand why Jim um, moved the witch elf back. But that was the only other option he had to provide a scoring threat. And I think Jim had probably made the decision just to protect the draw or play for the draw. Uh, maybe Jim just felt that the win was a bit beyond him here. And gets another uh, big powder. Blockless block, paying off. Honestly, block so overrated. Just yes, don't fill the rolls. This is the same with everything on Blue Ball, you know? Rolls and all that is for people that don't do it right the first time. And that push on the Witch makes that unless absolutely top tier goal like uh, played by Jimmy here that I can't even imagine, he can score. And that's something that he's gonna not be very happy about, about the result being a, a draw. I think <laughs> with a little more luck in that the key turn, you know, that the double, that the snake will have put things uh, very well for Jimmy for winning one nil. But now it's going to be nil nil. And wait a second because he can still uh, lose this. Oh, yeah, 100%. Um, it's a one into two. Guess the power. Happy days. Okay, that's uh, going to be really difficult for truck to recover. That's, yes, that truck uh, now has a really complicated hero level uh, rolls to make. Jim was literally a 1 in 36 away from winning this game. Not um, winning, but having a massive, massive, massive chance uh, I of winning he, it. But... I, 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 I think he would have been safe. I think he'd have been safe. And I think, uh, you know, uh, I do believe that Jim would have gone on to win the game from that. But, yeah, I could be wrong. You know, it's just a, it, it's just an opinion of a ranting Blood Bowl psychopath. So, but that dodge there, it really solidifies. Um, and now he has to foul. And here comes the foul. Double oh, one, geez. double one. Oh my Come god, are with the call on, neutral with a five. Oh my god, how many more ones do you want to roll, Jim? For god's sake, honestly, not, Holy not, cow, mate. 
not utterly catastrophic, but extremely disappointing that the team fouled there. Oh my god. Hello there. And I think it's Jimmy. Oh. Hello there. I was uh, saying to Calcium that you were more, you would have been more or less okay, feeling okay with the result on the first half. Nil nil would have been better, but nil nil is okay. But now you had a, a good chance there, eh? and unfortunately, that one in 36 came to stab you at the heart. Yes, there were a lot of critical one in 36 as well. And I may, I, you know, I didn't play perfectly. I could have done safe moves to mitigate at least one of them. But um, this half, this half, I could have just gone the long way around. But it would have, uh, it would have just instantly given a one D on the ball, which is, which is, you know. If he won these, he could. He's probably not going to take it, is he? Uh, maybe I should have just gone around the wrong, the long way, honestly. But you know, I th if I go forward and then get some guys through with me, that's just better, isn't it? Like the the, the success state was better by making that one in thirty six. Yeah, that was but, uh, that was nearly guaranteed a uh, score. But I, I mean, I could look back yeah, and think I, how, yeah. how good was just going across. Maybe I should have just gone across. If if I if I could have got clear of just getting instantly one dice blitz. I would have, I would have done that, but uh, I was just too close, wasn't I? Like both halves, if like there was one more turn in each half. And then Do you know what I mean? Like, with double scans, double scans to finish a game in. I have to say, uh, the roles have been, oh, oh my god, yeah. there have been some roles in this game. There have been some roles. Dice were rolled. It started off, <laughs> it started off so well. You know the yes. kick off, the, yes. the kick placement, the ball receiver getting stunned and yes. you put on an incredible amount of pressure on yes. um, truck so really credit to truck for dealing with that pressure because a lot of coaches would have absolutely folded under that pressure um i i, I asked the question truck is here to, in the chat how hello truck were you yeah well played truck I was disappointed. Yeah, well, I was disappointed true. if that was the question. Yeah, yeah like because yeah, of course, yeah. I, it was the kick was incredible, and combined with the the officious ref was insane. So like from that, obviously, I expect to uh, if if not end the half one nil up, at least score right, and then one one. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm, but I'm at least scoring from that drive. Like a hundred percent, I think I'm scoring that drive, and. Uh, so I yeah. was disappointed to not One in 36 away, mate. You, you were literally yeah. a one in 36 away, Look, I think. One question um, for you need. that uh, you are here we were uh, discussing. When you try to sharp that piece in the second half, get the double pause and reroll, did you regret that reroll? I don't think he because needed one I, after that, did he? It, it just it just came out. I don't think he will regret it. I mean, maybe it's because maybe it's he rolled the power. I mean, obviously, I regretted not dodging that guy first. I obviously dodged the wrong player first. Um, so I mean, you know, I, I was nowhere near perfect. Made a made a bunch of mistakes. Um, so it is what it is. You know, I can't be, I can't okay. be too, too unhappy about you know the mistakes that I made. But I, I do feel like the dice were a little bit harsh. But you know, a draw is okay. It's not. I I, I for, forgot which turn it was, which was terrible. Like I should have probably had a scoring threat. Um, almost certainly, I should have had a scoring threat, but obviously, I needed. I, I, I also needed to defend. Like, do you know what I mean, I, d I didn't want to lose one nil, right? But I guess by not having a sure. scoring threat, that means he goes all in on the potato, doesn't it? And he rolls all the dice, and it increases the chance of him scoring. So, I, you know, I definitely made a mistake of not getting a scoring threat, and I absolutely should have had the, that which is the scoring threat uh, and the, the wrestle bit. Well, wrestle saying bit. that, Jim, I think in hindsight, it was the right thing to do because that witch actually saved saved the score you know uh, she was the one that blitzed um, oh no 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 the, the, the block the block which right the block which i moved um, to just right to okay yeah oh, yeah she yeah 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah 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 um a lot of people in the chat commented on that uh the most vocal um was c bros obviously you know yeah. as usual uh <laughs> c bros pretty good at blood ball to be um, fair yeah. Just, I just didn't see what turn it was. He if is, I'd seen he? it was turn 15, I would have done it. But I was just thinking, right, stop him scoring, get the ball back and then score. Do you know what I mean? And just like, I just kind of thought it was turn 14. Like I just, it was just bad, just bad play not looking at the turn first. Like, you know, that, that's what I always say as well. Look at the turn counter first thing, right? You know, so some people forget what a turn it is. And, yeah. and like, you've got, you know, everything depends on, everything you do depends on what turn it is. And I don't always look at the turn marker because, you know, after playing 10,000 games of Blood Bowl or whatever, you play by feel a lot of the time you don't count every square you just see a blitzer and you basically know how far seven squares is and stuff and, and you do a lot of things by feel and i you know i did push quite early which kind of made me feel like an extra turn but obviously i didn't because i'd lost the ball so um yeah 
Oh well, um, right. Yeah, it was tricky. Yeah, you did well. You did well to hang in there and stuff under under all the under the cosh for the whole half. So, it, was yeah, it, was it was a great game. It was great game. Yeah, it, uh, absolutely and, great and game. Both was... you played well um, in the face of adversity. Both you had poor dice at times to deal with. Um, yes. Yeah, but a really solid game of blood bowl by two solid coaches. So yeah, well done. Yeah, great yeah, yeah, yeah. I was saying that. I yeah, I was saying that the. Uh, the only things we could say, you know, there were things here and there, but they were also big counterparts. For example, having an H cage always gives the chance to the elves to try to go for a chain, uh, for a chain. But also, yeah. if you don't do that, you give them other options. It's always tough, always yeah. tough. Yeah, I tell you what, I wish I'd had my two rerolls left to do to, to do the pick up and the jump and the handoff, but never mind. Um, Right, thank you very much, Fanny and Calcium. Brilliant having you on. Absolutely glorious of you to come in and commentate this for me. You're so welcome. I could, I could give 110%, though I still made a few mistakes because, you know, everyone does. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, well played, Truk, of course. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.